Okay, so continue with our discussion about example 4. So now, let's look into it. So we have two questions here, which both of the questions have its own part, A as well as B. Yeah? Alright, so let's look at them one by one. So first, part 4, example 4, part 1, we have a question asking about what will happen if we have negative 2 up until 3 included intersect with 1 up until 6 not included. So our concern here is intersection. So it means that we should find and both lines are there. Okay, so first as usual, you should list all the values involved here so negative 2 1 3 as well as 6 and then list down all the real number line for each of the interval so negative 2 up until 3 included 1 up until 6 not included okay please note that whatever include we put that as a full dot like this but if not included we put that as an empty circle like this huh? Alright, so we want to find a situation when they are coincide and so we are looking for this region because both of the lines are there. Okay, so now our last answer should be in between 1 and 3 and both included. So if you want to write it in terms of bracket, you can put it as close bracket like this. Okay, so next question, we have 2 up until 4, both are not included, but then union with x greater than 3 means to infinity, whatever x, whatever values that always greater than 3, but not equal to 3. Okay, so now u means union. Okay, so looks at how we solve this. At first, you need to list down all the numbers involved, okay, and then note all the number lines that been presenting these both intervals, okay, and then since they are all not included, so it means empty circle. Alright, so now we are looking for union. So union is all the region with the lines in it. Okay, to make yourself even clear about the regions, I would suggest for you to actually represent region by using dotted line first. Okay, so like this, if you have three values of x there, we should separate them into four regions. So means you have one, two, three, and four regions here. Okay, and then look at the region where there are lines. Okay, so this is this got no line. This one got one line. This one in fact have two lines and then got one more line there. So meaning that our desirable region should be the one greater than two here, not included. Huh? So two up until infinity. Next, part 2. We have A given by 5 to infinity, B negative 6 up until 6, C negative infinity up until 1. So we are looking for A intersect with B first. Okay, so you should one by one draw them. So negative 6 up until 6, that one is actually B. Another one is 5 to infinity okay because we are looking for intersection so we are looking for the region where there are more than one line in that particular region so where is it so it's 5 up until 6 so both are not included so that's why our answer should be 5 up until 6 okay and then on another question a union with C. So meaning that we need to denote A. That one is C first. This one is C. Meanwhile, this one is A. 
okay you are looking for union so union is regions with lines at least you should have one line in the region okay so we divide them into few regions because you have two values of x involved here there are three regions all together so by right your desirable answer should be this one not this one unfortunately as well as that one okay so therefore our final answer should be the union of negative infinity up until one union with five up until infinity okay all right how about this one later on we're gonna do this example guys stay tuned